there's a lot of confusion about what 5G is. The G stands for generation. So you started off with the first uh, transmitter system. Back in the 1980s. In the 80s, yes. Yeah. So you had 1G, then you had 2G. And as the generations moved on, you started to see uh, more uh, complex uh, signal systems, uh, cleverer uh, pieces of uh, you know, antenna designs, etc., etc. So the whole thing became uh, more data, quicker data, quicker downloads, etc., etc. However, 5G is something completely different. Five G, first and foremost, is densification. So it's significantly more transmitters in close proximity to uh, the human, and it is also a sophisticated, illegal, unlawful transmitter. What I mean by that is it is a high gain dielectric lens antenna, and what that allows five G transmitters to do is to 3D map its environment in your home. The 868 megahertz frequency is specific for battlefield interrogation systems, so sub gigahertz. It allows the signal to travel through concrete brickwork with ease, and it can actually uh, data gather. It is a target acquiring system. Phased array is basically radar off the battlefield. It is extremely good at identifying targets and being able to lock on the targets. And not only that, it can specifically target you as an individual. So any judge sitting on a, uh, an interesting case, let's say, any lawyer, any barrister, anybody doing any work that is potentially controversial, your life could be a threat. So the antenna design that you currently have on top of these LED streetlights masquerading as a control management system is basically battlefield interrogation equipment. The first phase of the rear unit was actually called Mammut, used by the Germans to identify Allied aircraft. Obviously things have moved on significantly since Almost then. Immediately I had neighbours knocking on the door uh, talking about children bleeding from the nose. I had images posted on Facebook. And one neighbour in particular came to my door and mentioned the fact that since the LED street lighting had been installed, she was bleeding from the nose every single night. I thought it was unbelievable. However, I spoke to another neighbour who lived not far from the first lady who mentioned this and she also confirmed that since the LED street lighting had been installed, she also had started to develop nosebleeds and had never had nosebleeds before in her life. That then put me on a journey to investigate. Measured microwave radiation levels from the transmitters uh, on top of the LED streetlights. Uh, the basic 868 megahertz, it was significantly higher than the current Council of Europe 1815 resolution, which is a maximum of 600 millivolts. I've measured up to th over 3,000 millivolts. Uh, five times, five to six times higher than the than the guidelines. Significantly higher than, than the current Council of Europe 1815 resolution, which states that 200 millivolts should be the maximum. The Bio Initiative report states that it should be significantly less than that. So we've got the Council of Europe that's, you know, the, 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 the international criminal courts are stating that, you know, the learned judges have said that 200 millivolts and I'm measuring in bedrooms in Gateshead, minimum, minimum 600 and up to 4,000. Does this mean that in 2020, 2021, when 5G is destined to roll out globally, that you're going to get those kind of readings everywhere all the time? Everywhere all the time. Worse than that? Worse than that. Is it true? It could be. No, well, come very, on. A, you know, very no few cases. Proof there was an unfortunate really uh, incident out in situation. Iowa. Oh, Look, gentlemen, have... practice these words in front of the mirror. Although we are constantly exploring the subject, 
Currently, there is no direct evidence that links cell phone usage to brain cancer. 